Welcome back. Once again, adventurers, to Let's Play Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger. In the last episode, Taukaka got lost on her way trying to find a crow, not a raven, who had apparently stolen her stake. And she had the grave misfortune out of ending up in the domain of Rachel Alucard. And uh, one thing led to another, and uh, the two pretty much duked it out in Mortal Kombat, with Tao apparently being the uh, being the victor, if one could call it, call her. Anyway, uh, well, we are back in uh, normal Kagutsuchi, seeing as how uh, Rachel War but flung Tao Kaka out of her manor. Excuse me. You there! Where did you come from? We kind of got flying out of the sky there. She was a young girl in a blue hat. She looked angry, but Tao Kaka had other, more important things to worry about than angry girls. Uh, who are you? Meow? I'm Lieutenant Noel Vermillion from the NOL. And you are? Yeah, she's, uh... Not going to know what the library is, Noel. Tao is Tao Kaka. Meow. And unfortunately, uh, Noel isn't going to know what that means either. Tao Kaka. Huh. That's a name you don't hear every day. Not a person you see every day either. Yeah. I'll see you around then. Looks like we're going to be on our way. Hey, wait. Um. The NOL is currently searching for a vicious criminal, Ragna the Blood Edge. Do you know anything about this Ragna the Blood Edge? Hmm. Blood Edge? What's that? Meow! Yeah, that should uh, answer your question there, Noel. Let's see. He's a man with a face like this. Taukaka looked down at the picture of the evil-looking man with white hair. Ah yes, the wanted posters. They're everywhere. Oh, I know him! He gave me some food! Oh, that's, um... That's bad. Really? So, he isn't too far away from here. I must go capture him immediately. Yeah, it seems like Tao is, uh forgotten the bounty that she was supposed to collect. Meow, meow? Why are you trying to capture a good guy? Good guy? That's not right. Uh, Noel, welcome to Tao's world. You said he gave you some food, but what's your relationship with Ragna the Blood Edge? Something's fishy here. Oh, uh, the... The cat puns are killing me. Tao isn't fishy. Meow. <sighs> Not only are your breasts flat, but you're also boring. Yeah, I I have no words. Noelle blushed and quickly crossed her arms across her chest. She seemed more angry than embarrassed, and with good reason. Absolutely nothing to do with this! I'll have you arrested for contempt! Yep. Huh? You want to play with Tao now? In that case, I'm all for it! Meow! Yeah, I don't think, uh... Noelle's in a playful mood, Tao Kaka, but not that that matters to you. Run. Well, it looks like we've gotten on Noelle's bad side, so, uh... Hopefully she can, uh blow off some steam. Yeah, something tells me that that isn't going to be likely anytime soon. The wheel of fate is turning. And besides, there are actually pedestrian bystanders all around. It's not really at the time to be fighting, but uh, oh well. Stop it, Bulwark. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hello there, you people in the background. Is that a parrot wearing a suit? Yeah, reading a book. That's, uh, that's actually kind of bizarre. And, uh, there's a mother and child. I think. And someone's feeding the birds. But, uh, hopefully we don't scare them off. Try and, uh... Ah, how? I, I thought I ran past that. Ran past that uh, explosion. Get those counters going because... Yeah, don't mind me, we're just... Uh, we're just uh, passing through. Try and keep the momentum going. Because I am not doing a very good job. I don't care if I have to spam this attack. I will spam it. Tao is a very spammable character. And I seem to be locked into the spamming. Turn around, Tao. Stop slashing all over the place. Well, uh, not really what I intended to do, but uh, at least it worked, I suppose. And uh, looks like the port officials are uh, a bit bemused as to what's going on. But I'm pretty exhausted and starving. Meow. Plus, I'm getting sleepy. Meow. Pretty much uh, putting yourself in the position which you first started this mess, Tao. Now Kaka had completely lost interest in Noelle. She let out a huge yawn, curled up, and fell asleep. What should I do about this girl? I'm in a pickle. I may have overreacted, so I don't feel right about taking her in. Water under the bridge. But she'll be blocking traffic. Or she might catch a cold if I leave her lying here like this. I guess I have no choice. One... Two. No, picked up Tao Kako and started to drag her out of the street. Probably not a good idea. You end up waking Tao. <sighs> and I don't think anyone is going to help you with this. Even though she'd only just fallen asleep, Tao Kako didn't wake up. No matter what Noel dragged her over, Eventually, Noelle stuffed her into a corner of Sector 5, away from pr far away from any prying eyes. <sighs> that was quite a workout. Yeah, you're certainly earning your pay today, Noelle. She should wake up soon and go home. I have to go back to work, too. Searching for Ragnar the Blooded, who I sincerely doubt is in this area. Oh, oh well. Rest? That small? N not that it matters. Their shape isn't that bad. But I do wish they were bigger. What should I do? Should I ask that female doctor? No, I don't have the guts to do that. Getting, uh, getting flashbacks Wait. here. I remember Makoto said something like, if you have a boy massage them, they'll get bigger. <gasps> Tao didn't hear a word of Noel's mumbling. She was sound asleep. It wasn't long before night fell. And to that I say good riddance. Hey kid, you can't sleep here, you'll catch a cold. And that is a, uh, that is a very interesting voice. But, um... I believe that will be it for this episode of Let's Play Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger, and when we return, uh, 
We shall see who this mystery voice is. And it's someone who is, uh, I can only tell you that he has a uh, immense presence, but we'll know soon enough. As always, adventurers, until next we meet.